Okay, this is a devlog update for the new Godot Souls-like controller I've been working on. Um, I posted the one for 3.5 a few years ago in the asset library, and it's just really showing its age. So this is the updated Godot 4 version that takes advantage of a lot more of the features and uh, got to work on it a lot more, and I've, I've obviously improved a lot better, <laughs> a lot more since then, so uh, things are just going to be, in general, better. Uh, but I want to take you through some of the features and what we can expect from it. Um, one of the big things is it's open source, and <laughs> that's even down to the animations. Uh, there are no Mixmo animations in here. This is all stuff I've either motion captured or uh, rigged rotoscoping in, in Blender. And so these are all going to be completely open source animations and open source libraries with no connection to um, Adobe. Although I did use a skeleton of the same portions as the Mixamo skeleton, as well as their open source rig. So if you do rig with Mixamo, rig your skeletons on Mixamo, um, the, these animations should take really well to that skeleton once you bring it into to Godot because the, the portions are the same. It was what it was born on. Um, but there are a ton of animations that will come with it in the library. Um, we've got you know quick swings with our light sword. We got heavy swings as well, the light sword. Uh, switching animations to the uh, to the heavy weapon. We've got a uh, whoop heavy weapon animations as well. Uh, big swings for that as well. Uh, offhand guard, which slows us down, and uh, shield bash. We've got jumping swings. Um, oh yeah, we got a strafe cam. I can't remember. Can't forget that strafe cam. We can kick on targeting cam, uh, which allows you to swap between enemies too. There's a little bit of a bug with that, but I'm I'm working on it. Um, we got. Um, Potion drinking, forgot about that. Uh, we got, you know, obviously the roll. I already showed you guys all the jumps. Um, I'll probably be adding another offhand uh, weapon or item. I've been calling them gadgets, some offhand gadget, uh, but that's not done yet. Enemy AI also has been built for the most part. They spot you, they will chase you and attack you, um, and on a randomized timer, dodge or attack. Um, they will continue to pursue you. If you escape long enough, they will go back to wherever their guard post was or their guard patrol path, uh, which you can see some of these guys are you know, following paths, which uh, I'll show how to set those up to later once I actually start making the tutorials for this thing. Um, uh, there's definitely going to be stuff that you guys can improve upon with this. Uh, I'm obviously not the best. I've only gotten into game dev somewhat recently, so that's why this is going to be community-driven and open source if you guys want to improve it. Uh, make the code better, you totally can. Uh, but I just want to make you know make more of these open source animations, uh, animation libraries, and give those out. Uh, it's always fun giving out free character models that I think are fun to make. Um, but things are really coming along. Obviously, I haven't finished the hurt and dying uh, logic yet, but the animations are there. And uh, just want to show you, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Not quite done, but getting close. So please be patient while I finish all this finish all this up. Cool. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.